Tonight, a big wall climber from the Bay Area is telling his story of a harrowing fall and dramatic rescue in Yosemite. He was climbing El Cap last night when something went terribly wrong. KPI X5's Andrea Borba spoke to him tonight from his hospital bed in Fresno. Andrea? Well, he spent the night on the side of a cliff, badly injured and cold. I spoke to him right before his surgery this afternoon, and for all of his climbs, this is likely to be his most memorable. Yosemite's most majestic vista, El Capitan, rises 3,000 feet above the valley floor. It's a rock that world renowned speed climber Hans Florin has conquered 178 times. I was on the nose route, which isn't very surprising since I've climbed that lot. You'll notice that we're talking to Hans via FaceTime from a hospital bed. This Instagram post explains it all. Well, there is a rescue going on on El Capitan, and it's me. I think I broke my leg. Rescuers, please be safe. It was my 110th time on the route, and we were about 2,300 feet up on the whole of the 2,900 foot route. And a piece of gear that I placed um, popped out of the rock, and I fell about, oh, 22 feet or so. And um, the piece below it held me. But not without causing major injuries. I hit a ledge at about 22 feet, and my heels hit, and broke my right heel and broke my left ankle. Yosemite rescue crews got to Hans and his climbing partner safely perched on a ledge of El Cap at 7 p.m. By 10 p.m. they were on top of the granite monument where they would spend the night. It was dark and windy, meaning a helicopter rescue would have to wait until the morning. Got to sleep the night on El Cap last night with 10 search and rescue people. Then, this morning, helicopters eventually led Hans to a hospital and finally an operating room to fix his broken ankle and heel. They're taking me to surgery, yes. Hans and his climbing partner set the speed record up El Capitan's nose route back in 2015. He's famous even beyond the climbing community, giving this TED talk on the subject. I'm going to climb El Cap, which we knew was impossible to climb at that time. Despite the pain, Hans was happy of one fact. I'm super psyched that I've only had to get rescued one time out of 178 times on El Cap, so that's cool. Now, still no word at this point when Hans will be healthy enough to make his way back up El Cap. In the newsroom, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.